Are you looking for the ultimate packing list so you don't forget anything for your next triathlon? Well, look no further. In this video, we'll cover everything you need. Triathlon race days can be stressful enough without worrying if you've forgotten anything. Having a list makes the logistics much smoother, leaving you with more time to sit back and relax. That's why I've pulled together the ultimate packing list so you can see exactly what you need to pack for race day. For the swim, you'll need your swim kit or a tri-specific suit designed for both speed and comfort in all three disciplines. You'll also need a wetsuit if you're swimming open water and the race specifies that you need to wear one. It's useful to have two sets of goggles, one tinted for bright conditions and one that's clearer for lower light. I'd also suggest having some anti-fog spray in your bag, just in case your goggles need demisting. Next up, a brightly coloured towel will help you spot your bike in a busy transition area. You will also need to put your heart rate monitor on before the swim as you won't be able to pop it on later. And if you're wearing a sports watch, that will need to be on your wrist before you head to the swim start. Transitioning to the bike, you must ensure your bike is race ready and that you have a safety certified helmet. Cycling shoes will be in transition along with socks if you're putting some on and you'll likely want to have a pair of sunglasses to protect your eyes and a couple of water bottles with the sports nutrition you need to keep your energy levels topped up. You'll also need your race number to hand, usually on a race belt, ready to display on your bike as you leave transition. In case of any mechanical issues, I'd recommend you have a toolkit and a spare inner tube with CO2 cartridges, tyre levers and a multi-tool. Although you'll probably pump your tyres before leaving home, keeping a track pump in your car or a small pump in your bag is also worth doing. In C1, I'd also have a few clothing options depending on the conditions like arm warmers, gloves and a jacket. These are things that you can put on quickly if the weather is bad. As you hit T2, you'll switch that race number to your front, ready for the run. Most importantly, you'll need a decent pair of running shoes for comfort and support. If you didn't put on socks before the bike leg, it's worth putting on a pair now to prevent rubbing or blisters, unless you're chasing down vital seconds. You'll need to take your cycling helmet off and possibly swap that for a hat or visor for protection from the sun, along with your sunglasses. And you'll need to have the race nutrition in your pockets for this final portion. So I've covered the essential items that you'll need during the event, but it's also worth including a few miscellaneous items in your packing list to cover all possible bases. I always take my training plan whenever I travel to races, whether that's on my phone or printed, so that's so I can see what I need to do in the last couple of days before the race. If you don't have a training plan, don't worry, you can check out my affordable plans with fast coach support by clicking the link in the corner of the screen or in the description. Another essential item is skin lubricant, such as body glide or Vaseline. And this prevents rubbing either around your neck if you're wearing a wetsuit or any other parts of your body that might rub later on. And immediately following any event, you'll probably be hungry and thirsty. So do pack a recovery shake some water with electrolytes and a banana to tick off your protein, electrolyte and carbohydrate requirements. Some other admin tasks to include on your checklist are your race details, a triathlon race license if you need one, a passport if you're racing abroad, local currency, toiletries, a head torch in case it's an early start and it's still dark, any prescribed medications you might need, chargers for all your devices and some wet wipes for cleaning your bike. Then the final part of any good checklist is food. I try to be as self-sufficient as possible while I'm staying away, so I'll travel with breakfast ingredients so that on race day I can eat familiar things before my race. So that's things like oatmeal, milk, honey, energy bars, and even some good coffee. The day before and race day itself can fly by in a blur, so in addition to my packing list, I'll also create a race to-do list to ensure I tick off all the jobs that need doing around the event. This will include things like registering the day before, packing my transition bags in advance, and booking a table at a good restaurant for dinner. Then on race day, my to-do list will include waking up early, fueling my body with familiar foods, and managing my hydration. I'll aim to arrive early at the race site, see where my transition spot is, and make a mental note of the landmark so that I can easily find my bike. I'll walk through transition and visualize where I need to go, and then finally, I'll head off to do a quick warm up before going to the start line. You'll have dedicated hours of your time preparing for your triathlon event, and this checklist forms the icing on the cake so that you arrive on race day feeling organized, fit, and ready to go. If this checklist has sparked your excitement, then why not check out our Beginner's Guide to Triathlon playlist for more insights on preparing and tapering for your next race. And for a deep dive into maximizing your training sessions, check out the video on screen as well. Before you go, feel free to share any other items you have on your checklist that I might not have added to mine.